not be the same. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. That was J. Robert Oppenheimer, a name I'm sure almost every one of you is familiar with especially given the monumental hype surrounding yesterday's release of renowned cinematic director Christopher Nolan's latest film, Epic, about the brilliant, albeit disgraced, physicist. But while most of us know him as the father of the atomic bomb, Oppenheimer was actually quite the polymath, making significant contributions during his life to the fields of nuclear physics, quantum mechanics, and perhaps most surprisingly, astrophysics. Let us look past his inventor of the atom bomb persona and better understand the man's life behind the proverbial Iron Curtain, including some of his lesser-known scientific accomplishments, particularly in the field of astrophysics and how they shaped our understanding of the universe. Born in 1904 to German-Jewish immigrants, Oppenheimer showed intellectual brilliance at an early age, excelling in many subjects, especially physics and chemistry. He graduated as a Bachelor of Arts major from Harvard University in 1925 and by 1927 got his PhD in physics from the University of Göttingen in Germany under the supervision of Max Born, one of the founding fathers of quantum mechanics. After acquiring his PhD, he returned to the United States and became an associate professor at the University of California, Berkeley, where he established himself as a pioneer in theoretical physics it was here that, with the assistance of his students, Oppenheimer led several breakthroughs in the field of astrophysics, some of which would not be proven until decades later. One of his most remarkable contributions to astrophysics was his work on the theory of neutron stars, which are the dense remnants of massive stars that have collapsed under their own gravity. In 1939, he published two papers with his student George Volkoff, where they solved Einstein's equations of general relativity for massive stars. They determined that there is a limit to how massive a star can be before it collapses into a neutron star. This limit is known as the tolman oppenheimer volkoff limit, and it is about three times the mass of our Sun. If a star exceeds this limit, it will collapse into a black hole. Speaking of black holes, Oppenheimer was one of the first theoretical physicists to propose their existence. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. He predicted some of their properties, such as their event horizon, which is the boundary beyond which nothing can be seen or communicated with, and even calculated how much energy would be released if a star collapsed into a black hole which he called the ultimate gravitational catastrophe. He estimated that this energy would be equivalent to 10 circumflex 53 ergs, or about 10 billion times the energy released by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Oppenheimer's work on black holes was decades ahead of his time, and it was largely ignored or rejected by other physicists, including Albert Einstein himself whose theory of general relativity was ironically the basis of Oppenheimer's work on black holes. It wasn't until the 1960s that new observations and discoveries on the topic confirmed his predictions. Today, black holes are one of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe, and they are the subject of intense research and speculation. And we have Oppenheimer, the father of black holes, to thank for it.
Beyond neutron stars and black holes, Oppenheimer also made important contributions to the theory of cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles that originate from outer space and bombard Earth's atmosphere. He showed that cosmic rays could produce showers of secondary particles when they interact with air molecules, and proposed the idea that cosmic rays could be used to probe the structure and composition of atomic nuclei. Furthermore, he suggested that cosmic rays could be a source of energy for stars and galaxies. As you can see, Oppenheimer was much more than just the architect of the deadliest weapon humanity has ever devised. He was a visionary theoretical physicist who made groundbreaking contributions to numerous fields of science, including astrophysics, with a lot of his work leading to major breakthroughs years or even decades later. He was a complex and controversial figure who faced many challenges and controversies in his personal and professional life. He passed away in 1967 at the age of 62, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire scientists and thinkers for generations to come. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more on some of the most fascinating stories in the world of cosmology and astrophysics. See you next time.